is my receipt for Lego 2K Drive. Yes, I did spend $180 on this game and played the entire story as well as gone ahead and played a bunch of the online modes in order to get a very comprehensive answer to the question of is it worth buying? The simple answer for the vast majority of people is no. And I'm just being honest about that. I always really have a tough time arguing about value because obviously value is very, very subjective. For one person, it could be easy to go on ahead and drop 180 bucks on a game without even batting an eye at it. And for another person, it could be your entire budget for your video game hobby for the year. So that's why I tried to answer the question in such a way where it would actually be for the average person. And I just think that you could do a lot better with many other titles available right now than this particular one. Don't get me wrong, I think the game is actually quite a bit of fun. It is definitely an above average kart racer. That's kind of where I would place it. I have also gone ahead and started to spend more time with a customizer. And I do have to say, it's a lot of fun to build things for yourself. However, it takes a very, very long time to actually get any of these vehicles on the road. And one of my biggest frustrations is the fact that there is no community creations option in this game. I understand why they did it because they basically created all their microtransactions around the idea of you having to buy new cars. And so I understand why they wouldn't then turn around and be like, yeah, let's just have a community creations feature where people could share cars. But I personally think that that is a very, very dumb decision. I think that this game would have so much more excitement around it if we could all share our community creations to build a pool of creations that people could download, especially for the people that are A, maybe not creative enough, or B, just simply don't have the time to sit around and work on one car for three to four hours to try to get something that they are happy with. It is particularly confusing because if you look at other 2K games like the WWE 2K games, which I really enjoy, I don't understand why they couldn't look at that game and include a feature like that in this title. Because if you look at WWE 2K, there is tons and tons of characters. Like if you want to take a wrestler like Kenny Omega, who does not wrestle for the WWE, you can go into the community creations, download him, and you have a perfectly playable character model. And I think a feature like that in this game would have been terrific. The story itself for the game is actually pretty good as well. It's definitely very lighthearted, very family friendly. So if you've played the TT games, Lego games, this is really not that far off. I would even say that the overall kind of vibe of the game itself, as far as the campaign and the story is concerned, is almost more similar to the Lego movies than it is to the previous Lego games that seem to have a lot more like visual gags, whereas this definitely is relying much more so on the writing and the actual voice acting delivery of the characters. Circling back to the microtransactions elements of this game, I really feel like it is impossible to ignore how egregious they are in this particular title, especially when you really start to run the math and realize that when you're talking about some of the microtransactions in this game, it is literally cheaper for you to go on ahead and buy real life Lego sets with actual bricks and instructions and minifigs than it would be to buy enough of the in-game currency to exchange it to be able to buy a digital vehicle. Most of which, by the way, are not even licensed, which is another thing that's so frustrating is just the overall egregious nature of the microtransactions in this title, because they're not just bad, they're horrible. Now, coming off of that point, I am certain that a lot of you guys will say, well, it sounds like this is an absolute dumpster fire of a game. And it really isn't. I would go on ahead and say that this game is roughly in the ballpark of like a 6 out of 10, 6.5 out of 10. But a lot of that really does come down to the value of the game. I think if this was a video game that was released at $30 or $40 with the most premium edition being $70, I really think that it would be a lot easier to digest and it would be a game that I wouldn't have so many issues with because it would feel like an experience that is definitely worth that $30 or so as far as the experience that you get from the game itself. Now, I do wanna say your mileage, no pun intended, will vary because obviously if you're a huge fan of racing games, if you're a huge fan of building Lego kits or more specifically, I guess, cars, this will probably be a dream game for you because it kind of combines those two elements in a relatively competent game. 
I just personally think that this is one of those titles that does not, to me, have a whole lot of replay value. And because of that, I don't really have any way to justify that egregious price point that they are asking for. And yes, I'm aware that the addition that I purchased gives me tons more quote unquote content, which we'll see what even that actually means because none of the drive passes have actually gone live yet even though they're already going on ahead and selling you on four of them over the course of the first year of the game. So obviously, if let's say the first drive pass drops and they have like Batmobiles in there and like a Ghostbuster car and a bunch of licensed vehicles, I will definitely warm up to the idea that maybe the value here is a lot better than initially presented, but we can't go off of what ifs. We have to judge the game on its current merit. And right now it is simply not cutting it. Now, with all that being said, I always want to hear from you guys. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below. Is this a game that you are picking up? Is this a game that you've already picked up? I have gone ahead and asked the community just a couple of days ago about whether or not they're going to be picking up the game at launch. And overwhelmingly, 92% of the voters went ahead and said no. But I would be very curious to still hear your opinions and thoughts down in the comment section below. So please go on ahead and voice your opinions down below. In addition to that, if you could hit the thumbs up button, I would really appreciate it. It really genuinely helps a ton with the algorithm. So for those of you that go through the trouble of doing that, I really, really am super duper grateful for your support. And finally, if you guys would like to go on ahead and check out a really useful tips or tricks video for LEGO 2K Drive, you can see it currently on your screen. Just click the screen and enjoy. Thanks all for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.